Well played, Brooke, and congratulations. A winning goal and a win and a good performance all around. Yeah, I don't think it was as pretty as we'd have liked it to be. Um, I think we're used to having a lot more of the ball and building a lot more from the back, but I thought they pressed really well today. They made it difficult for us to play, and we had to be a little bit more direct, which isn't usually how we play, but it was scrappy, it wasn't pretty, but three points is, is what we wanted from the game, and that's what we got. Was it a case of being patient? Obviously, after the penalty miss, were you starting to think this isn't going to be our day? I think when we come out of the second half, we, we put a lot of pressure on him and, and it felt like it was coming and we were creating chances, which is always positive. Um, but no, it was definitely one of them games that, that could have been a, a nil-nil. They work really hard. They make it very hard to, to just relax on the ball because they are very enthusiastic. They press well. Um, but like I said, the direct we, we end up going a lot more direct and we were able to, to get a goal through that. No doubt some people will say it was a route one goal, but I suppose from your point of view, it was a great pass from Molly to put you through. Is that the sort of situation you like when you're on the pitch, being through with a, on the keeper like that? Um, yeah, I think it was a brilliant ball. Obviously, it's not the, the kind of football we would like to play, but it, if it's effective and it works, and in some games you have to play that. Um, and 1v1s, obviously nines like kind of 1v1 situation. and. <laughs> There was one just after, actually, that I probably should have scored that I took a bit of a heavy touch on. But, yeah, uh, any goal-scoring opportunity I'm grateful for. And, and Molly's pass was a perfect pass for me to finish. Spoken of a true goal scorer. <laughs> but from then on, though, at that point, the, the defence really closed the game out, didn't they? And you never let the home side have a, have a clear chance on goal from there. Yeah, I think, obviously, in our experience that we've got in our team, once you go 1-0 up, we, uh, we definitely didn't want to concede... Uh, the lead. Um, we probably closed up a little bit, stopped playing as expansive as what we usually do and made it hard for them to get back in the game. And the wins put you back in with a chance of fifth place. Is that something that you'd accept fifth place or do you think um, the team could have done better this season in terms of deep position? Yeah, I think if uh, you'd have asked us at the beginning of the year, we would have been wanting fourth mm. again. Um, but if you look at where we are now, I think we have to be realistic and, and fifth is what we're aiming for and we do want to finish as high as possible. It's not like we're not interested in the league because we are. We've set ourselves a target for the year and uh, fifth is, is what we're, we're going for and it's important to us that we finish as high as possible. So every three points that we can pick up towards the end of the year matters to us and today was no exception. But of course, in the meantime, there's an, a certain game coming up in a fortnight's time, FA Cup semi-final against West Ham. How much are you and the team looking forward to that occasion? Yeah, obviously it's massive for us and it's uh, reignited uh, the season for us to have that to look forward to and, and we just can't wait, can't wait to get to it. And you've got a lot, as you said, you've got a lot of experience in the team. Do you think that's the sort of thing that might count for matches like that or are you hoping for it? Yeah, we've got lots of players that have played in important games and, and I'm sure they have as well. Um, but it's an FA Cup game and in my opinion, in FA Cup rounds, anything can happen and it can be anyone's day on the day and we have to go into it and believe that, that we can get to Wembley. But you battled through two very hard games in the last two rounds against Birmingham and Man United. West Ham are sort of there, thereabouts with you in the table. So uh, obviously you've avoided Man City and Chelsea, so it's probably the joy we're looking for all along. Yeah, but even when we say that, like we haven't beaten West Ham this year. Um, we've drawn and they've, they've beat us at, at home, so... It's not a game that we'll take lightly and I don't think anyone's looking too far ahead. It's a game we've got to go into and we're going to have to play well to win and, and fingers crossed we can uh, put the performance in on the day. How much would it mean to a club like Reading if you can get there to a Wembley Cup final? It's something that the men have never achieved in, in their long history. What would it be like for you to get there? Yeah, it's massive. It's massive for us as individuals and it's massive for the club. I think it's, a, it's an indicator of where the club's going and the direction that Kelly and Phil are taking the club. So hopefully we can, uh, we can get the job done and, and we can do that for everyone. It'll be ultimately a disappointing result, but the effort the team put in was tremendous today, wasn't it? Yeah, no, I think it was a good performance. Um, from us, obviously disappointed to lose, um, especially if it had been 1-0, but... Yeah, there's other important parts of the game. You know, Baggers has, has uh, saved a penalty. And I thought overall, from back to front, um, we played well and we executed the plan. So ultimately disappointed, but happy with, with how we performed. So it's just a little bit frustrating with the way the goal was conceded, a long ball over the top. Um, a goal's a goal. You're going to be frustrated how, however it's um, conceded. But yeah, we nullified them. Um, 
well today and, and that was the way they broke through. But um, yeah, we'll look at it, uh, we'll look to see what happens, see where we can improve on um, and we'll move forward. They're very experienced side though, aren't they? And they really shut the, the team out going forward after they scored the goal. You never really got a clear chance on goal, did you? Yeah, I think... The team, um, I mean, not yourself. No, no, I think <laughs> the, the experience um, of Redden showed. Um, and yeah, they once they scored, they sort of sat back and executed their game plan. Um, and that's what you can expect from, from a team that goes 1-0 up. Um, we kept pushing, but uh, unfortunately for us, it just didn't come. But overall, how have you been settling in down here? Is, has it been difficult more difficult coming in midway through the season from Scotland to come down here? Um, no, I think probably looking back on it, um, it's the best way I could have done it. Um, I've been thrown right in at the deep end and we've had some really hard fixtures uh, and a good run of games, so happy to be on the pitch and uh, contributing where I can. But uh, ultimately I've settled well, um, got on with all the girls perfectly and took well to the coaching staff and the philosophy and style of play. So, yeah, no, I'm loving it here and no regrets of when I came down. You feel that you're adjusting your game now to playing down here, and, and there's going to be a lot more to come from you in the future. Uh, yeah, I hope I hope so. Um, it's a really different game um, from back home in Scotland. Um, a much better stand, standard, better level, and it's a lot more physical. So yeah, I think sort of from my development, development in my career, um, it's the best place for me, and hopefully I go from strength to strength. How big a help is it having at the likes of Frankie and Lucy here, the fellow Scots down here? Yeah, I, um, I think friendly face goes, goes a long way. Um, obviously played with Lucy at Hebs very recently. So, yeah, we've got a good partnership. Um, played together at Hebs for, for three, four seasons. So, yeah, we've got a good partnership, but the full team have uh, chipped in and made me feel welcome. Still three games to go. You're still fifth in the table, even though you lost today. And you've still got plenty to play for, haven't you? Yeah, I think it's um, it's our own internal goals that we're going for now. Um, we set them at the start of the season and then readjusted um, at the midway point when I came in. So, yeah, we're striving um, internally for, for what we want to do and that will that'll be kept closed doors and, and inside. Um, but overall, looking at the league table, delighted with how the season's went. Well, obviously, on a personal note, you've got a little bit more to aim for as well in the summer. You forced your way into the Scotland squad recently. You're not quite there this time, but... Uh, do you feel confident you can still push for a place and, and get into that squad for uh, France? Um, it'll be difficult. Um, obviously, World Cup selection is, is a difficult time. Um, I would love to be selected. Um, it's something you, you can only dream about when you're young. Um, but my focus just now is on club. If I perform well here, then hopefully it um, puts me in good stead for the national team. But if it doesn't come at the World Cup, I'm ready to go for the next campaign.